Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker AMV tutorial, I am going to show you how to use the skill learning system along with the job point system. So let's just level up our characters a little bit, get some JP, and uh, you can access the job, uh, the abilities menu to uh, learn your skills right there from that menu. So we see that as we level up we gain job points and you can specify how you get job points from attacking, from killing creatures, from leveling up and uh, pretty much you can uh, make it so that you learn job points from anything. You can get items that give you job points, you, could, can, you can make a quest system where at the end of the quest you get job points so they're pretty malleable in what you can do with it. But we've got our skills here, let's learn a few skills. We can use the Q and the W's to switch between characters uh, and then uh, access their skills. You can create skills uh, that uh, refresh automatically and uh, upgrade your stats. So we can say let's uh, get more HP or MP or whatever you like to do and switch them around. Got a bunch of different skills to learn here. Now basically what we're going to be doing is note tagging our stuff. So let me show you how you would do that. Um, so you're going to get a few plugins for this to work. Um, Yanfly's core engine is going to be needed. Uh, for this whole class change things, you'd want the, the class change core and the subclass, but you don't need that for the skill learn system in particular. Now, sometimes uh, you might have to move plugins around to um, just a general tip. If for some reason your plugins aren't working right, try moving them around a little bit and you might uh, encounter different things. Now, um, there's been a lot of updates since I've had to move uh, some of these plugins around. So these uh, two plugins would generally be up here uh, in this area for the Yanflies. Uh, but when they first came out, I had to move them to the bottom here, and everything seems to work so uh, just right so that I haven't wanted to move them around again and have to do anything else. So if uh, you're having issues where, uh, like I was, uh, I was I was able to learn skills without actually using the JP that had the cost to it, so I moved it to the bottom and that uh, completely fixed it. But um, so here's what, what you would have to do is keep your skill learn system underneath the job points if you're using both of them. But let's go to the help file. I want to show you uh, where the plugin commands are. Generally, all your plugin commands are going to be towards the bottom above the change log and all of Yanfly's uh, plugins. Uh, so here's the, the commands you would use. Say you didn't want a, your character to be able to view uh, the, the change their skills from the menu. Well, you can change that right here. You can uh, disable the command, turn this to false, and then you can make an NPC that would open up the menu. So they'd have to go back to town or something. And uh, how you do that is by using a plugin command in, it, in an event. So we would take this show learn skill right here and uh, open up a new event, like, you know, at our skill bar or wherever. And we would go to tab three at the bottom and we would type in show learn skill. And uh, I think it's singular, show learn skill or the skills. But uh, you would just put that in an, inside of an, an, an event, if I could talk. And uh, that would open up the, the skill learning system for you. Um, you can uh, decide what kind of costs you want it to, uh, yeah, it's singular. You can assign what kind of costs you want it to, to have on your skills. You can make it require a level. You can make it require a certain switch beyond. You can make it using eval lunatic mode. You can make it so there has to be a certain character in your party for this uh, skill to be learned. You know, if you're using Jay's dual tech or something, you want it to be some. Uh, inclusive like that you can do that but generally what you would be doing is note tagging your skills and your classes so let's start with the skills to note tag a skill you would just simply put a learn cost to the skill so you can make it require items you go to the help file you'll see all of that well, you can make it require certain weapons you can make it consume certain pieces of armor to learn a certain skill um, for me I like using the job points but you can use more than just one thing you can have level requirements as well. So um, for the job points you would go learn cost and then you put the number and then the JP after that and I have noticed that sometimes I'll typo and do that but it still seems to work so the system is pretty malleable so you can do uh, capital JP no space and spaces it's up to you but uh, I usually go with what the help file specifies so this seems to work perfect so um, you would basically take note of the number that you're the, the skill that you're using so um, this, this track's okay, but I'm just gonna switch it. Um, for, for like, this would be number 26. So if we go to our classes, and we see the Paladin is gonna learn how to use the, the healing spell, our, 
our heal. So in order for the, the class to be, uh, for it to show that option for that class, you would do a learn skill command as you see here. We've done 26. So there's multiple ways that you can do this. You can use a learn skill and then uh, that actually would have to be like that. So you can um, go 26 and close it off and just learn that one skill or you can put a comma and continue to put a bunch of skills after that comma or if you wanted to learn say 90, 91, 92, 93, 94 you can just go the first number to, <clears throat> to the second number. One thing I did notice though um, this may have been patched out by now but say we have a bunch of skills and we want to just put them all on one line or something and you've got something like that after a certain point um, it stops reading it, or it did in the in the past, in the past versions. So after a certain point, like say this skill number 89, it, the game may not even read 89 as being there, because it's gone past a certain point. Like I said, this may be patched out. But what I've uh, had to do in the past is I would just go down to the next line, and I would go and repeat the same thing, go learn skill, and then go like that, and it would read all of them, you know, and it would work perfectly. So that's something you can you can use to uh, get around that if that issue is still a thing. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, we'll go to our skills uh, on our classes here. You can uh, specify that it takes an item. Uh, you can uh, put an eval uh, in there. Uh, and all of the information you need to know is right here conveniently in the help uh, file. So you can do a custom a learn text so that it shows the text underneath the skill. Uh, when you're on the skill learning s system, you just input this uh, note tag command on the skill, type in whatever you want here to say this is a super fire powerful skill or uh, your basic thunder attack or whatever you like it to say. Uh, you can make it so that it requires a switch or something, like I think I've already gone over that. But uh, really a lot, a lot of options here. Um, for the job point system, really cool, you can specify in the plugin. Um, the icon for JP, like I'm using that, that purple red card, uh, but you can specify the icon right here and how you find the icon number if you don't know, uh, you would go to your database and go to any skill or any item and double click right here and you can see there's a little number right here and this uh, is telling you what icon number that is. So say you want your JP to look like this red book, then you would put in that 231 right there in that uh, on the job points uh, parameters. Um, you can specify the default, how much that you, you're basically going to be getting per action. You can specify how much uh, job points they're going to get per each level, how many job points they're going to get for killing a particular enemy, and you can make these zero, or you can take the random out, or you can make it completely random. It's really up to you. You can specify if you want it to show that they've gained job points at the end, but uh, really, really useful stuff to use these two, uh, these plugins together. Um, you can create items and skills and weapons that increase the rate that they gain job points. I mean, it's so awesome what you can do. Uh, you can uh, create plugin commands uh, on items and uh, award uh, items that uh, that give job points, or you can do you can uh, make your own quest lines that uh, instead of getting experience points, they would get job points for completing the. I mean, I could go on all day, but um, that's basically it. I pretty much summed up what you can do with the the job uh, points and the skill learning system. So hopefully this video was informative and helpful. If it was, remember to like, favorite, share, share, and subscribe. It really helps uh, the channel out and lets me know that you guys are interested in this sort of content. If you have a suggestion, suggestion or a special request, please leave it in the comments below and I will get to it because I read my comments. You guys are very important to me. And uh, let's make uh, the community for RPG Maker MV just blow up like crazy. So hit them forums, like, tell your friends, get people involved. Let's make some amazing games that people will remember. So so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial.